Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be going over the NBA slate on DraftKings and Yahoo for Tuesday, March the 26th. Uh, we've got a big 10 game slate on for Tuesday. Uh, a lot of games to talk about, a lot of injuries on the slate. There's going to be a ton of value it looks like. Uh, definitely going to be a stars and scrubs slate. Um, so we'll work our way through the player pool, go through each position, talk about some of the guys that I like on this 10 game slate. Uh, and I will give my 5 plays for DraftKings, 5 plays for Yahoo. Uh, these are five players that I do specifically like for each site. Um, before we do get started, though, guys, I would appreciate it if you would drop a like on the video. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, so that way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. MLB is coming up soon. Starts on Thursday. Going to have MLB videos out daily once MLB starts. So uh, if you're planning to play MLB DFS and you're not subscribed, you're going to want to make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, so that way you won't miss out on my MLB vids as well as my NBA videos. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and look at point guard today. So we do have James Harden at the top of this position, 11,400 in a matchup with the Bucks. Uh, James Harden looks really good on this slate. Uh, this is definitely, like I said, going to be a stars and scrubs slate. There's going to be value. Uh, right now, I'm just seeing a ton of value looking at this slate the night before. We're probably going to be able to play multiple 10K studs in our lineup, at least one or two if you would like. Uh, and I think James, uh, James Harden is definitely one of the top studs on this slate. He's 11-4 on DK, like I said. He's 59 on Yahoo, and he's at shooting guard. I like him a lot on both sides. Uh, this just feels like a game where James Harden is going to have to play big minutes. This feels like a game that's going to be competitive. It's going to be high scoring. We've seen so far this year in competitive games, James Harden's playing close to 40 minutes. The Rockets are still fighting for a better playoff spot, so they're going to be playing their starters big minutes. Uh, so I expect that this game is competitive, which it should be. You get about 36 to 38 minutes from James Harden. Even playing alongside Chris Paul, James Harden still has massive upside, 80, 90-point upside. Uh, twice in his last three games, he's gone for 80 and 88 draftings points, playing with Chris Paul. Uh, and for what it's worth, earlier this year, he went for 70 DK points in 40 minutes against the Bucks. Uh, so Harden I like quite a bit. I think he is one of the top studs on the slate. Him and Giannis are just $100 different on DraftKings. I think I would rather play Giannis. Um, on Yahoo, it's a bit different. If you want to go to Giannis for $5 cheaper, I think that does make sense, but uh, James Harden's at shooting guard on Yahoo, which makes him very appealing. If he was point guard, I wouldn't have as much interest, but since he's shooting guard, and that position's usually always pretty bad, uh, James Harden, really on both sides, looks like a great play, especially since we're going to have the salary to pay up for him today with all the value I see. Um, I'm really not going to be playing a ton of the other expensive point guards besides Harden. Like Kimba's in a decent spot. Luka's in a decent spot. Uh, Trey Young's good matchup with the Pelicans, but it's hard for me to pay for those guys when I can get Harden on this slate. And like I said, with all the good like 4K value there is, I don't see myself playing a lot of the 8K plays today. I think it's going to be a slate where I'm playing like multiple 10K, 9K players and then trying to fit in as much value as I can. Uh, so I guess if I were to play one guy like at the top, it would probably be Trey Young at 8,200 or Luka at 8,500. Very close between those two. I think I would roll with Trey Young for 8,200 because I do really like that matchup with the Pelicans. I like that game environment as well. Uh, but again, like I said, don't see myself going to the 8K range at point guard. Uh, there's some mid-tier plays we could talk about. Terry Rozier, obviously a guy we have to talk about since Kyrie Irving is going to be out today. Uh, Rozier, though, did get his price raised. He's up to 6800 on DraftKings, and he's $24 on Yahoo. Um, since the, I do see a lot of value at point guard, I don't think Rozier is a must-play today. If he was cheaper... He would definitely be intriguing, especially in a matchup with the Cavs. But since he's up to 6,800, you want about 40 DraftKings points out of him for him to be a really good play at this price tag. Could he get there against the Cavs? Obviously, Rozier could go for 40 against the Cavs. But I don't think you really need to play Rozier today since his price tag did get raised quite a bit. Uh, I want to talk about the value here, though, especially from some um, Pelicans guys, potentially, and then from the Bulls. Uh, so from the Pelicans, Frank Jackson at 5,100. Definitely could be a good value play today if Alfred Payton is ruled out. Alfred Payton is questionable right now. If he were to sit, you would get more ball handling for Frank Jackson. I imagine Jackson will start at point guard. He'll move over to point guard. Uh, would definitely become a really good value, especially in a great matchup with the Hawks. Don't mind some Frank Jackson today if Payton is out. Uh, with Kyrie out, I think Marcus Smart at 4,600 against the Cavs. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, Shaq Harrison, I actually really like today as a value play. 4400 on DraftKings. Uh, almost minimum on Yahoo. $11 at point guard over here. I like him a ton on both sides. 
Uh, the Bulls are definitely a team we're going to be looking to for value plays today. They're going to be without three starters. Zach Levine's already been ruled out. Otto Porter is out. Chris Dunn is doubtful. So uh, that's three starters that are going to be down for the Bulls. I imagine Shaq Harrison will start. Ryan Archidiakono will start. And then probably like Antonio Blakeney will start as well. Uh, three guys that we could definitely target for value. I think Harrison's one of the guys that I really want, though. In that last game against the Jazz, Levine was out, and Shaq Harrison played 39 minutes. Even in a blowout, he played 39 minutes. Obviously, this game against the Raptors could blow out, but this fact that Harrison played huge minutes, even in a blowout, just really gives me no concern about his minutes. I expect the minutes to be there. Like I said, not a great matchup, but with Levine, Dunn, and uh, Porter off the floor this year, Shaq Harrison's averaging about a point per minute. Uh, so at 4,400, if he's going to play 36, 38 minutes, even if the game blows out, he'll still play that amount. Shaq Harrison looks like a top value today. Uh, then Archie Diakono is the other guy I want to talk about. 3,800 on DraftKings uh, is the minimum on Yahoo. He's $10 over here. He also looks like a great value. With no Chris Dunn, I expect Archie Diakono will draw the start for him since Chris Dunn is doubtful. I expect him to pick up a ton of assists here. When you take Dunn and Levine off the floor, Archie Diakono is going to be the primary ball handler. Uh, we've seen him make some spot starts this year when Levine has been out and when Dunn has been out. He does okay when he's playing alongside those guys, but when you take both of those guys off the floor, there's really no ball handling besides Archie Iacono and Shaq Harrison. Uh, so I think Archie Iacono is good for a, probably a double-double here in points and assists. Uh, I would say if the game blows out, he probably will still play in the blowout as well. Uh, since he's a young guy, they'll probably still play him even if the game blows out. Uh, he's 3800 on DraftKings, which just makes him very appealing. I expect the minutes will be there uh, with that cheap price tag. Even in the tough matchup, Shaq Harrison, also, or, uh, Ryan Archiakono, excuse me, also looks like a really good value play today. Him and Harrison from the Bulls, I do want to target. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on to shooting guard now. Um, so at this position, you have Bradley Beal at the top here, 9300 against the Lakers. Um, I do like this price for Bradley Beal, but if we look at his game log, his minutes have really started to trend down lately. Pretty sure the Wizards are like out of the playoff run. They've kind of been, or they're pretty much eliminated. They have like a 1% chance, but it doesn't look like they're going to make the playoffs. So we have seen Bill's minutes come down last two games, even though the games were competitive. Only 36 and 34 minutes from Bill. We're not seeing him play 40 plus minutes like we were seeing earlier this year. Uh, so I think he's probably only going to play about 34, 35 minutes. Could Bill go for 50 DraftKings points in 35 minutes against the Lakers? Absolutely, he could, but looking at this slate, like I said, the 8K guy's just not appealing for me. I want to pay, pay up for Harden. I want to pay up for Giannis. I think LeBron is going to be a guy we probably want to consider now that he's getting consistent run. He's been playing more minutes lately, and his price tag's still very cheap. Uh, so don't really see myself going to Beal. Like, if we just look at LeBron, he's uh, 900 more expensive. I'd much rather play LeBron now that LeBron's playing 35 minutes consistently on a night uh, nightly basis. Uh, so don't really like Bill a ton. The price tag's good, but now that the minutes are trending down, I think the price tag's probably right for him, If just being honest, if he's only going to play 34, 36 minutes. Uh, so shooting guard, I'm probably going to be playing a lot of Harden here, probably going to be playing some Arshiakano here, who I like quite a bit. Uh, if we're looking for other plays that we could potentially go to, not really a ton stands out to me or really catches my eye. Like you have Frank Jackson, who I like quite a bit. If Alfred Payton's out, you could play. Uh, Jalen Brown and Marcus Smart both make sense as value plays with Kyrie out. Brown is 4,900. Marcus Smart is 4,600. Those are two guys you could consider for cheap. Uh, but that's probably it for shooting guard. Let's go ahead and move on to small forward now. Uh, so this position, really like the top options here. Like Giannis a lot today at 11-3. Only uh, issue is that just I would rather play Harden, who's only 100 more. But I'm still going to have some lineups where I play Giannis as well. Probably have some lineups where I play Harden and Giannis together since we have so much value. Uh, and then LeBron I also really like for 900 cheaper. Uh, LeBron has been playing 35 minutes consistently. We're not seeing him limited to 32 minutes anymore. He's played 35, 37, and 35 minutes in three straight games. All games were competitive. Uh, I imagine this game is competitive. LeBron probably is going to play about 35 minutes. Uh, could easily go for 60 drafting points against this really bad Wizards team. Uh, so I do like LeBron today at 10,200. I think he is a really good option now that it looks like his minutes aren't going to be limited since you know he's playing 35 minutes three nights in a row. Uh, I think I would try and find the two or the 900 dollars to get up to Giannis if I could, uh, but LeBron's definitely in play for me at 10-2. Um, if you're not paying up though, if you're going to cheaper plays, like I said, Shaq Harrison 
fifty or 4400 you can play at small forward I like quite a bit. Uh, Marcus Morris got a big price raise, but for good reason. He does do really well when Kyrie's off the floor. Al Horford is also questionable. Jason Tatum is also questionable. If Horford and Tatum were to both sit, then I think Marcus Morris at 6K would become a really good option. Even if Tatum and Horford uh, play, you could still go to Morris, but if I'm going to pay 6K for him, I would prefer that Tatum and Horford both be out. Uh, but still an option. Then, you, like I said, you got Jalen Brown, who you could play. I think Gordon Hayward will also benefit with Kyrie out. Should benefit as well if Jason Tatum's out. You probably will see Gordon Hayward start if Jason Tatum is out, and he would become a really good value play at 4800 if you want to consider him. You could play him as a small forward value. Uh, but that's probably it for this position. Let's go ahead and talk about some power forwards now. Look at this position. So Giannis and LeBron you have at the top who, like I've talked about, really like today. Uh, really like Laurie Markkinen. I do want to talk about him as a mid-range play. 6700 on DraftKings. Um, on Yahoo, he's $29 at power forward. Uh, Markkinen just looks like gonna or he's going to be a really good option today because the Bulls are just going to be so shorthanded. They're going to be playing with a bunch of scrubs. Markkinen's really the only guy in that Bulls starting lineup that is a good shot creator that can create his own shot. Uh, even in 26 minutes in a blowout against the Jazz, you still got 34 minutes out of Markkinen. So that was with Porter and Dunn or Porter and Levine out. Dunn played in that game. Now with Porter, Levine, and Dunn expect to be out for this one. I think Markkinen probably plays about 32 minutes if this game is competitive, which obviously is a big concern since it's in Toronto. The or the Bulls are going to be without three starters. There's a pretty good chance this blows out, but if it stays competitive, Markkinen should absolutely be able to crush. There's just no other shot creators in that Bulls starting lineup. Markkinen's going to have to take a ton of shots. Uh, he took 20 shots last game, which we love to see. I imagine he takes about 20, 25 shots again. The rebounds have been up lately for Markkinen. Uh, just looks like a really good play. Just got to hope that the game stays competitive. Uh, and if it does, Laurie Markkinen should absolutely be able to crush this $6,700 price tag. Um, then another guy I want to talk about here, well, two guys in this mid-range I love. So if Al Horford plays today at 5900 without Kyrie against the Cavs, he looks like one of the best plays on the slate. Uh, Al Horford, when Kyrie is out, is like a 7K play. Uh, and against the Cavs, probably should be like 7500 So. Uh, Al Horford, a guy you want to keep your eye on if he plays today. Love him at 5,900. Going to have a t him in a ton of my lineups. Uh, and Thomas Bryant, I also really like 5,200 on DraftKings and very cheap on Yahoo. Uh, he's at center, which I don't love, but since he's so cheap, it still makes him a great play for me. $14 on Yahoo. Uh, love Thomas Bryant since he's been moved into the starting lineup. He's played huge minutes. Last two games, he has started at center. They moved Bobby Portis to power forward. And Bryant has played 35 and 36 minutes and has put up 36 and 33 draftings points. Now he gets a great matchup with the Lakers. He's going to continue to start. He's going to continue to play big minutes, it seems. So uh, Thomas Bryant for 5,200 is still too cheap now that he's starting and playing huge minutes, especially in a really good game environment against the Lakers, a game that should be high scoring and should be competitive. Uh, Thomas Bryant looks like a great play today if you need to target someone in that 5K range. And then the guys I've talked about, that you could play at power forward. You have Hayward, who I like, especially if Tatum were to sit, but definitely will benefit with Kyrie out for this game. Uh, those are the value plays I like, mainly Hayward, uh, Thomas Bryant, Al Horford, 5,900. So those are some of the cheaper options I think you can consider at power forward. Uh, but now moving on to center, we also have some really good plays at the top of this position. Carl Anthony Towns, 10,200. I do like today against the Clippers. It is a great matchup for Towns. Uh, the only problem, though, is that Harden's on this slate. You have Giannis on this slate for just a little bit more, and I think I would try and find the salary to get up to those guys. But you can definitely play Towns. Uh, LeBron, though, is $500 cheaper, which I also like. Uh, Towns, I would say, is probably like my fourth-ranked stud behind Harden, Giannis, and LeBron. Uh, with all the value out there, I'm sure I'm going to be able to play some Towns in my lineups because we have so much value. Um, so I do like paying up for him at center if you can. If you're not going to him, though, you've got the guys I've talked about that you can play at center. Markkinen is center eligible. Thomas Bryant is center eligible. Um, Al Horford, if he plays, love him today. He's down here at 5,900. Uh, JaVel McGee has a great matchup today, and he's really been playing well lately. Been seeing consistent run, 32, 35, and 29 minutes last three games. 23, 72, 47 draftings points. Uh, McGee's just been balling. 6,500 is not a price tag that I love for McGee. Uh, I would definitely rather play Al Horford for cheaper if Horford's able to go, but uh, McGee is at least an option, especially since 
it's such a good matchup with the Wizards. We know this Wizards team really struggles to defend bigs. Uh, McGee should be able to dominate on the boards. Uh, but I would say the minutes aren't 100% safe. I wouldn't be surprised if McGee plays like 25 minutes instead of like 32. If we're playing, if we're paying 6,500 for him, we definitely want him playing 30 plus minutes. And if he does play that amount um, against this Wizards team, we could get another big game out of JaVale McGee. So he is definitely in play for me if you're going there at center. Uh, but if you're talking about cheap plays, value plays, there's really no value that I like at this position. Uh, I guess you could play Thomas Bryant as a value at 5,200, but. I think that's it for center, guys. I think that's it for the video. Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully it did help you. If you enjoyed, make sure you click that like button down below. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Or you can hit me up on Twitter at the DFS underscore GOAT. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.